Hello guys, welcome to my new trading series. Uh, I'm first of all going to show you where I'm starting off. And it is from my previous trading series what I've done, which was Road to Burning Flames Hong Kong Cone. And I finished it with a Scorching Flames Hong Kong Cone, which was actually more in my, like, I like it more than the Burning Flames Hong Kong Cone. So I finished it with this one and I'm going to be starting off with this. Scorching Flames, beautiful Hong Kong Cone, I've got like three days ago. And I got this spell left, I wanna like trade for like, I think I have it for two weeks or something and I can't really get rid of it. And yeah, what I'm mainly looking to achieve with the series is to get uh, in the thousands ranking of backpack.tf and that's gonna be a long journey, it must be like a thousand keys or something and I'm at 315 or something now and maybe more if I sell it so be excited for this series and be excited for my first trade I'm gonna do in a while so yeah see you when I get a trade in yo boys I've sold my cone for 315 pure keys so there's a profit of 20 keys I got like three days ago for 295 and now I got 315 pure so yeah uh, see you next trade Hey boys, I've got a double spells vintage back burner for 7 keys pure. I should be able to sell for like 9 or 8 or something. Uh, let's see what I can get for it. See you next trade. Yo, I'm trading the back burner for a patrician and gangrene fancy fedora. This seems pretty profitable, profitable to me since it's double spelled. Gangrene is one of the best footprints. Patrician isn't the best, but. Should be able to get at least eight keys, so one key profit or two keys. That's so right. that should be a should possibility. I'm just gonna wait until this guy accepts a mobile, and I want to show you the head in game actually, because I wonder what it's gonna look like. Oh, okay, we get the notification. Let's do that real quick. Except, come on, there we go. Let's get it. I actually like Patrician, but not for trading aspect. It's matching. Is it matching? Dude, that's matching. You can't tell me that's not matching. So let's just see how much spells the TF gives me so I can just look around for that. So yeah, see you next trade. Yo, I'm buying a Morning Glory Big Elfin deal for 34 pure keys. Let me just show you the stats real quick uh i'm kind of fucked if all these fall away but i don't think they will because it's a morning glory still and morning glories usually tend to sell for more than buy order price and it just looks good uh, like what should i say it just looks good the head is really low key and bad but i can't complain for 34 keys let me just count real quick and then i'll show you the head all right i got it let's see it i saw my first death at dusk and my first morning glory head I've ever owned, so that's kind of a first. Uh, I've been trading for like three months, I've never owned a morning glory or death and dusk head, so yeah, see you next trade. Hey guys, I'm getting rid of my spell. Uh, that's actually three keys profit if I sold to a bot, but I can probably get more for that one. It's an all class taunt and looks pretty, pretty alright. And yeah, buy orders are 13.8 and I'm adding 4 keys and I basically paid uh, 7 for that one. So that's uh, 11 keys for a 14 key taunt, at least 14 keys. And I'm the only seller, so uh, let me just show you real quick how that looks like. I want to see it myself as well. I think it's an all class, so I can probably sell for some good amount. It's not that bad, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, see you next trade. Hey guys, I got a new item. It's a... Oh, surprise again. It's a ground control with voices and chromatic. Let's see how it looks like. I got it for 5 keys from Ender. And that's actually... Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's actually pretty good, because... I don't know. Every double spell, especially if the paint region is that big, and like that, and ground throw is a more popular head and desired. Uh, double spelled ones for this price are really, really good. And like I bought one for 4.5. Let's actually check something. Uh, spells.tf, uh, it doesn't refresh my inventory. 
Do you have to log out? Come on. Let me log in right now. Okay, I can't see it yet. But let's see what first what you have is paying and I'm just gonna hit you up when I get a trade. Hey guys, I will be selling my uh, two unusuals, that one I bought for 34 and that one for, f like I got it basically for 11. And I'm getting 50 for them, so let's just do the math. Uh, I paid 34 plus 11. I paid 45 and I'm getting 50 in a, 50 in a suite, so that's instant profit. And yeah, I basically got this one for the spell, but I showed it, showed it to you and for keys. So I can't complain about five keys profit and a big alpha deal is kind of a pain in the ass. Just selling for like one key above buy order, uh, one key above what I bought, and that's like one key above buy order because someone created buy order at 34. And yeah, I'm just going to show you when I get the stuff. All right, the trade went through. I want to actually see how this one looks like. It's for soldier, and it's even very purple, I think. It looks alright. Uh, 50 keys. I'm happy with that. See you next trade. Yo, I sold my genuine Rossom, the double spelled one, for 20 keys. I didn't make any profit in this trade actually, uh, but this was just a pain in the ass to sell. Uh, it was literally just completely impossible almost. That was this offer uh, for this one. And like I got it for 20 keys as well, so I was thinking about selling for 15 already because no one wanted it and then. This guy just hit me up and bought it for 20 and I just took it, so yeah. That's all for now, see you next trade. Yo, I'm buying a chromatic bills, which is fairly nice for 5.5 keys, basically. And that's a decent price, first seller at, I think, 8 for CC, so that should be alright. Uh, just gonna uh, see you next trade. Hey boys, I'm getting a California cap with disco beat down for 21 pure keys. Uh, buyers are at 20 and I'm the only seller and I actually really like the hat. It's a pretty cool hat for what it is. Uh, let me just recount 5 times 4 is 20, 21, that's about it. Let's go, just accepting right now and then I'm going to show you the hat. It's really cool actually. Can't complain about that one. Yep, especially with the paint, it looks really good in my opinion. So yeah, just trying to sell for a bit more or item overpay. So see you next trade. Hey guys, I'm back with a new trade. I'm buying a pretty cool hat, one of my favorites, and I'm bidding on one as well. Uh, it's a mystery to everyone, Neptune's Nightmare. Let me real quickly show you this. I just checked for like uh, Neptune's Nightmare cells and this one popped up. Oh, there we go, I got it. It's actually one of my favorite hats in the game. I mean, of course it's for Pyro which I don't play, or like I generally don't really play TF2 at the moment, but still, this hat is so sick, I swear to god. So, two keys above Bowders, I can't complain, dude, I really can't. Uh, yeah, see you next trade. This is the end of the episode. My microphone is broken, but I wanted to thank everyone for your support. I'm looking for someone who is able to edit an outro for me. If you know how to do it, just add me on Steam and we can talk. Cheers and thanks for watching.